and this is Shami here. I am from Endogata Shami YouTube channel, Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter I have. So you can follow me there. Alright, so in this video I am going to teach you biology. That is the heart structure and functions and what is the difference between arteries, veins and capillaries. So this is my requested video. One of my students, Gonga. Thank you so much Gonga for requesting me to making this video. Alright, so let's get started. A pen and paper and write down the answer if you need all right so let's get started so here's a question answer we will try to write like uh, describe the internal structure of heart how the heart pumps blood difference between artery vein and capillary So here you can see this is aorta here, right atrium, right ventricle and this is a left atrium and left ventricle and this is a pulmonary artery. Describe the internal structure of heart. So how you will write? So pen and paper and write down the answer. It can help you to understand. It can help you to uh, whenever your exam you can how you can write number one question what is heart made of so heart is made of a special muscle that is called cardiac muscle what kind of muscle is this this is cardiac muscle So heart is a triangular shaped hollow and muscular pumping organ. This is pump blood all over the body. This is a pumping organ. The mammalian heart has four chambers. How many chambers? Four chambers. The upper chamber are called atria and below the two chamber. This is here two chamber that is known ventricle. This is a basic for O level biology superior vena cava this is right atrium and tricuspid valve this side and inferior vena cava inferior vena cava and semilunar valve and bicuspid valve and this is aorta so this is the basic you need to draw some diagram it can help you to understand the structure Blood from various parts of the body is returned to the right atrium. Where is it? Right atrium. And blood from the head, neck and arms is returned to the right atrium by a large vein called common anterior and superior vena cava. Alright, let's go next one. So blood from the other part of the body is brought back by the inferior vena cava. Where is it? Inferior vena cava. And when the right atrium contacts, the blood flows into the right ventricle. And between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the tricuspid valve. What's the bulb name? That is tricuspid valve, which contains uh, of three flaps. Let's go next one. That is opening of the aorta. So this is aorta here. So our opening of the aorta and pulmonary artery is guarded by valves called semilunar valves. What's the valve name? Semilunar. Which allow the transport of blood in one direction and prevents the backflow of blood. So you need to remember the name of blood name of part next question question number two how the heart pumps blood so step number one that is when the heart is relaxed both side and fill up with blood from the veins first is fill up the blood then what happened next next that is the aorta contract and veins also contract where they join the aorta atria and so blood is forced into the ventricles through the valves so if I it depends on how much marks you have 
so what is the hard what is a heartbeat so heartbeat is a this is a complete contraction so contraction means that is systole and relaxation that is diastole so systole and diastole that is that is called heartbeat one complete contraction and relaxation is called a heartbeat Now, next question, question number two, what, uh, what is the difference between artery, veins, and capillaries? So arteries, this is arteries, this is vein, and this is capillaries. This is capillaries, guys. So what's the difference between artery, veins, and capillaries? So here, you can see this is artery, artery is a thick elastic wall what kind of wall this is thick thick elastic wall and veins is a thin wall this is a thin wall and small lumen this is a large lumen this is opposite large lumen you see the lumen here is a small lumen and veins it has valve artery and capillary single cell wall this is a single cell wall here's a more details is depend on the how much marks it has it has some maybe marks a 10 marks so you can write many at least five from heart to rest of body and from rest of the body to heart and that is the connects artery and vein you saw that it's connected and artery is mostly oxygenated blood what kind of blood oxygenated and here is a deoxygenated blood carries mostly and carries both here is a oxygenated and deoxygenated uh, here is a both and high pressure with thicker wall and low pressure with thinner wall and walls only one cell thick for diffusion and here is a no valve no valves and but veins it has valve and blood pressure that is blood speed fast blood speed this is slow so yeah that's all for today thank you very much i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video and keep practicing and keep watching and leave your comments and um, yeah that's all for today